Let's face it, no one wants to see you or me riding up hills wearing Lycra. Even the biggest creators in the cycling niche just don't get massive views. So how did this video of me riding up hills in Lycra get over 3 million views on TikTok? I was confused, excited but confused. I spent the last week studying viral videos and I found three things every viral video has, including mine. The first thing you need is a captivating idea. This may seem simple, but it's really difficult to do. And if you don't spend enough time getting this first thing right, you won't be able to make it up when you get to number two and number three. TikTok and YouTube track how long viewers watch a video before swiping away to the next one. Put simply, the longer a person watches your video, the more people TikTok shows it to. Same with YouTube. Next time you're on TikTok, pay attention to the first three to five seconds of a video. Did they hook you with an interesting idea? Here's the first five seconds of my video. Three of the steepest streets in the world are in Los Angeles. I decided to try the bike up all three in one ride. Wait. It's important I didn't just cycle up a few hills in my neighborhood. I proclaimed they were three of the steepest streets in the world. That statement is true. It's also controversial. Remember that the second thing you need is drama. Tick storytelling, dramatic storytelling. That went a lot better in my head. TikTok and YouTube want you to keep watching videos on their app for as long as possible. That way they can sell more ads. In the words of Bo Burnham, that is how the world works. To keep people around, you have to tell an interesting and dramatic story. We all love a story with a captivating beginning, middle, and end. What happens in your story is up to you and your bike and the road. For example, you go out for a ride, but just before the finish, you get a flat tire. Then you fix the tire and finally cross the finish line. That is a story. Maybe not a super captivating story, but it is a story. How do you make it more dramatic? You already have a good head start because you came up with a really good idea. In my idea, I picked three hills so I would have a clear beginning, middle, and end to my story. The first hill was hard. The second hill was even harder. It was so bad, I literally threw up afterward. Miserable in the moment, but great for the story. The stakes were raised. How could I possibly do another hill when I just threw up? On top of that, I pumped up the drama even more. Actually, I've got a secret weapon for upping the drama in any scene. Watch what happens when I ride to hill number three and see if you can figure it out. Getting up this thing was gonna take some serious effort. Did you hear it? Music. The right music can take your video to the next level. Honestly, I think music is one of the reasons why TikTok the app blew up. But we're talking about videos. And you can't always rely on a trending sound on TikTok. Like, what if you're making a YouTube video? Or what if you wanna take the power of music and put it into your own hands? That's what I like to do. Sorry. Here's that same scene without music. So getting up this thing was gonna take some serious effort. Pretty boring, right? There are a lot of royalty-free music libraries out there. The one I use is Slip.Stream. They have a bunch of music, a bunch of sound effects, but the thing I really like is they have these curated playlists. For this video, I used a Hans Zimmer playlist. He's the guy, the composer for Dark Knight, Interstellar. It was perfect because I wanted this scene to feel heavy. I wanted like drama. If you want to try Slip.Stream, there's a link in the description with a code for 15% off so you can start doing stuff like this in your videos. Reaching the top felt amazing. You've done the first two things. You've told a dramatic story based on a captivating idea, but there's one more thing you need if your video is gonna go viral. And this last thing is the thing that separates all my normal low view videos from my viral TikTok video. And I didn't know about it until this video. The truth is I got lucky. I just stumbled into this third thing. But now that I've seen it, my eyes are opened and I can't unsee it and I wanna open your eyes too. Back in the days before algorithms, the only way a video or a picture or a story or an email went viral is if people decided to share it with each other. There were no platforms 
to share things with. Nowadays, it feels like YouTube and TikTok's algorithms do all the sharing for us. But it's important to remember there are real people watching all of these videos, like you. YouTube is constantly trying to gauge what they call viewer satisfaction because they believe that is ultimately the most important metric. And I'm gonna make an assumption that TikTok feels the same. And that's why the third thing you need to do is give your audience a reason to engage with your video, a reason to share it, to comment, to give a thumbs up. But you don't have to beg them for those things. You can bake it right into your video. The controversy I accidentally created by calling three streets in my neighborhood three of the steepest streets in the world, again, that's actually true, invited a conversation, a spicy conversation. Look at these comments. I'm gonna pause right here and say, San Francisco, I hear you. I see what you're saying, but literally all of the steepest streets articles I read put LA streets above San Francisco's. I know that's hard to hear, but that's kind of the point. Everybody believes their city, their town, their neighborhood has a steeper street. And because of this, the audience has a reason to interact with the video. In fact, you might be feeling something right now. Maybe you're thinking there's a street in your neighborhood that is definitely steeper. And maybe it is. The only way to know is to travel around and ride as many of these streets as possible. And that, my friend, is exactly what I want to do. If you know a street that's steeper, let me know. Because I want to come to your town and I want to ride those streets with you. And I want to start ranking them. Because I have a sneaking suspicion that the street at the top of the Guinness Book of World Records list is actually wrong and I wanna find out, so let's do this.